Hey everybody, Brooks and Drag Dimes here. Welcome back to the show. If you remember a few, probably maybe a year and a half ago, I saw the first Koenigsegg Gemera in the US when it was doing its tour. It was kind of a model where you can get inside and check out some of the cool features. It had a 360 floating dash cam. And I put up like a short video of that a while ago and that guy went super viral. No one could kind of figure out how this was gonna work in the real world. It floated and it had a 360 view. It can record everything at once. And while Koenigsegg Gemera is not out yet with that dash cam, 70 Mai has come out with something pretty similar that actually works. This is the world's first 360 dash cam. I've never seen anything like this before, and it is really, really cool. Today we're gonna do a video of the 70 Mai 360 dash cam, and it actually can rotate around. It's got voice commands, can tell it what to do and what to record. And then also, we also have their 4K version of a different one, the 800S dash cam as well. So we're gonna unbox these, check them out, put them in the car, put them through the paces and see what kind of quality we get out of these. So first up is the dash cam Omni. So after we unbox this, this is the unit. So definitely the most different dash cam you've probably seen before. And it's this little kind of cylindrical module. This has a built-in screen, which I like on dash cams because you actually see the field of view into recording on here. So pretty much what you do is you open this up, you open the 70 My app, it connects over Bluetooth, opens up the connection, allows you to register the device. It's got the built-in memory, so it just downloads the footage to your phone when you need it. And uh, let's check out some of the features. I, got, I have my power right here, which is USB-C. I'm gonna go plug in. And this comes with power as well. You can uh, plug it into your cigarette lighter. It also has a hardwire kit as well which enables some advanced AI features. This could be the first AI-based dash cam that I've seen as well. So you can see this kind of booting up. And now we're online, and if you turn this around, it might be hard to see, but it's got the built-in screen right there. You can see what's going on. So being the first 360 cam, you don't need all the different, um, you know, some have rear camera, side camera, and all that kind of stuff, and all these wires running around. This can record everything because it's got this built-in uh, rotating screen on the back here. Now this camera also has HDR technology. It's got the full rotating design so you can take pictures every, each and every way. It's got night owl vision so it's got uh, really good vision in the dark so you can make out what you're seeing. Some of the dash cams quality at night is absolutely terrible. So the dash cam Omni is 60 frames per second, full 1080p. It has ADAS features as well. So as you're driving it monitors what's going on around you. So if it sees the car in front of you braking hard, it can advise you of what's happening, and it can also detect crashes and record based on G-forces as well. So one of the coolest features I've seen with the 360 cam is that it actually, when you're parked and it's left running, it's got AI running. So it can detect things that are going on around you. It can detect a person, and if that person is doing something suspicious or walks out of your field of view, the dash cam can actually follow them around your car in the frame of view. So if someone walks up to your car and starts like looking inside it, and then walks to the side, the camera will actually rotate to that side and get on video whatever's happening. That's super cool. I think it might be the first AI 360 dash cam that's out there. It makes it kind of super flexible for All right, so I'm gonna do a quick demo of the voice control. Although if it doesn't work here, I'll try it in the car. Shoot left. Yeah, so you can see the camera just moved left and it's shooting. It looks like it's got, it records about seven seconds there. Say shoot right. And it moves to the right and records. And it's also got other cool features like take a selfie where it turns around, kid does a little countdown, takes a selfie of you and your friends in the car. It's also got a feature called the road story filter. And what that does is it overlays all the data, analytic data from your driving. So speed, uh, direction, altitude, and other things, uh, possibly G-forces, and kind of overlays that. And you can kind of do maybe track driving and kind of monitor telemetry and stuff and export that. and put it on YouTube. All right, so that's the overview of the dash cam Omni. Now I'm gonna quickly unbox the 800S dash cam. Let's go over some of its features. Then we're gonna mount both inside the car and give them a run around the street and take a look at what we get. So next up, before we hit the road and put both dash cams in, this is 70 Mai's flagship dash camera, the 4K 800S. This is Ultra HD, so if you want the ultimate in quality, this has the Sony Starvis Center and uh, we're unboxing it right here. Here's the unit itself, and it's pretty compact. Micro SD and power on the side right there. This is really nice. So you get a full image screen on the back here, so you can see what's going on while you're driving it. Now the uh, 800S also comes with the rear channel camera, so 
All you do is plug that in the side here. It comes with a long extension cable to run to the back of your car so you can record both front and rear with this device. Now the big advantage to this is this huge LED screen you can see right here. So it comes with a um, sliding mount. You basically mount that on your windshield and then the dash cam slides right up into that. And at that point, you mount it to your windshield and rotate the camera up and down to get the correct field of view. Now most of the functions that I'm seeing are available on this screen using the four buttons below. So the nice thing here is that you can actually play back uh, the footage directly on the device if something happens without having to open up your phone or take out the SD card and put it in your computer or download the footage of your phone. Now of course this does support all the app functions that the Omni has. So you do connect it to your phone as well. You can set up settings, you could download footage to your phone and then email it from there. So, but I think the nice bonus is having this large, large screen right in here to see what's going on. Also has night vision mode. It's got a 1.8 large aperture lens. So nighttime quality is gonna be great, especially with the 4K. Also has G sensor recording. So if it detects a crash, it'll start recording and saving that to the memory. So I think- Start I, recording emergency video. Yeah, so I just basically tapped it right there and detected that tap and it's record the emergency video to the card. Otherwise it just loops through the video and as your card fills up, it just kind of overwrites the old stuff. If you have the hardware kit, which I do right here, and it does the surveillance recording so it can stay powered on while you're parked and detect things and record it there. So if your car gets broken into, you will have it on the dash cam here. And it's got built-in ADAS, so driver safety. It can monitor what's happening in front of you. If it sees a car, if you're not applying the brakes quick enough, it can alert you audibly that that's happening. It also uh, can detect if you're, uh, if you fell asleep or you accidentally departed the lane, it can alert you audibly as well. So it's kind of like got ADAS features built into the camera system. Also keep a lookout for the new 4K 810 with the new Sony Starvis 2 sensor coming out later this year. All right, so that's the overview of the 800S. Now let's get both cameras mounted inside the car, go for a quick drive and see what we get. So here we go, we got both the Omnicam and the 800S installed in the Tesla and you can see you got the Nice big screen right there for that one. The smaller screen for here. And uh, we'll go for a little test drive and you can actually control them using your voice. So if I go shoot left, there you go. That one goes and takes a video of it moving left. You can also do shoot right or take selfie. All right, so first up we got some footage from the 70 My. This is the Omni full 1080p. We're doing 60 frames per second and even at uh, the full HD, you can still read license plates. Uh, the color looks good. As you can see, it's got the speed, the time, the date, as well as uh, GPS coordinates that are overlaid on the screen. Shoot inside. So there's the example of me giving it the voice command to shoot inside. You can see the camera turns completely around and takes video of inside the car. Right here's the example of the road story filter. So this can uh, merge live footage of your speed, driving direction, altitude, and uh, some other high tech effects. And that overlays on your driving. You can export that to uh, your phone and to uh, social media. Here's an example of one of the ADAS features. You can see I'm approaching a couple of bicyclists here and the uh, camera detects that and actually gives me a warning. Attention to pedestrians. All right, next up, we're showing footage from the 4K Ultra. This is the 70My 800S dash cam. And uh, this is a full case. So I'll blow it up on your screen so you can take a look. Um, definitely some more clarity above and beyond what you get with the standard HD. Uh, but again, you get the date and time, you get the speed and everything else. And the color quality and the sharpness looks just fantastic uh, when you're dealing with the 4K Ultra HD right here. All right, so here's another example of the ADAS features. I'm approaching this car up in front of me and it gives me a warning. Caution, front car. All right, so there you go. That's a wrap of my review of the 70 mod dash cam Omni, full 360, AI based, really cool, selfie taking, voice activated, 1080p, super versatile dash cam with the built in screen and the 4K 800S dual channel ultra hd 4k um, i will put links in the description for both of these if you want to pick them up as always thanks for watching